What's up, homies? A couple updates. So, I've, I've mentioned this in a lot of my videos, and I mention it over and over again. You gotta be careful. You know, you come up with a great idea. And a mistake, actually, as funny as it sounds, that you can make is you go out and you make as many of them as possible with all your materials and all your resources, right? And you spend hours and hours and hours where you just you make like a hundred or something and the thing is with certain designs the smart thing to do is you make 10 15 grab your favorite one or grab one of them or whatever hold it use it every day you know kind of have it around for a couple months and a few months and use it so you can see where the faults are and you can sort of hone in you can hone it down on what you like and dislike now traditionally with my rivet lock book or medium is i was carrying it along with a rivet lock pickle Two things. What I learned about the rivet lock because that I made, I can't remember how many there was from this batch. This one is number nine. Yeah, this one's serial number nine. And one thing I learned, I used the same raw block, the starting point, the raw material. It's the same length on both of these. And I, what I realized with the picals is that I, need, I, I don't, they don't have to be the, this big. They can be, actually be a little bit smaller. And one thing I noticed as well is that do you really need to carry like two or three knives just, you know, because one thing does another thing and one thing does another thing. And I realized that, uh, for example, with the rivet lock book or medium here, um, I wanted to avoid doing this, but I think now that I've done it, I really like it. So I added a really sharp clip point. It's a little bit, it was a bit rough work. I just wanted to get it done because I just couldn't, I really needed it. And there it is. That's the addition to the rivet lock book or medium it makes it a little bit more difficult to baton because when you're batoning now you don't want to baton over the edge you're going to want to baton over here so i'm going to work on figuring out what's like a nice ideal length for this part um but the thing is some things look you know this looks really good the, the properties i kept this particular one number 36 because there was a bit of a bite here in the middle from the belt grinder where it went too deep i don't know if you can see it but it yeah, you can see it right there. So that was a bit of a pain in the butt, but this looks amazing. And one thing I learned about the rivet lock book on medium as well is that it's really nice to have one of these titanium belt clips here. And then also a pocket clip. I carry this, generally I carry it in my pocket, just like that. And then I can just grab it whenever. Uh, and then this actually, it's the, the length from this end to this end, that's the same as the webbing. So you can have it on your mole, mole strap. You can strap it to your mole strap however you want. And so I'd like that to be standard on all these. Um, yeah, the, you know, the thing is, like, it's pretty difficult to sell this uh, at a cheap price. But I still haven't really calculated what the smart price is, of course. But the nice thing is when you got a pommel here, when you... What, I, what, what I've noticed with some other ones, right, is if you just have this guard here and you have nothing there... When you're moving your fingers, it wants to push your hand out of the handle. It's kind of annoying, actually. And then another thing is, if, if you have just regular scales and, and you know, whatever material it is, it doesn't matter. If you want to crush something with your pommel or you want to hammer it like this, you have to have steel back there. You have to have some something like this. So, you know, and then when you're stabbing like this, you know, you got you need something to pull to allow your hand to pull out. So if I'm doing this, you know, I can put my thumb up there. It's nice to have something to pull in and out. So we got the sharpened clip point. And the reason that sharpened clip point is so important is because like a pickle, right? Why do we have pickles? Why do we like pickle? Why is it uh, such a great... Uh, this is not something I want to cut up. Um, well, I guess we will. So the nice thing with a pickle is you can just like that, right? You can just grab it and cut like that. Pretty awesome. But the clip point is pretty much the exact same thing. It's not as refined as a pickle, but now you have both a pickle and a regular blade on there. And so if you want to open something, you can just, you know, cut into it, right? Piece of plastic, that's often, you know, you want to cut into there. There you go, you know? So that that's nice. It's nice to be able to grab your blade, just one of them, you know, I don't have to choose between a bunch of them and then just, just like that. So even if it's a pretty steep edge, 
um, you know, it's it's sharp enough to get something done. So that was really, I think, I'm going to do that, of course, standard on, on, on these blades. And this also, when you're stabbing into something, it it's just like butter right through. So you kind of have to have that clip point. And I think somebody made a study sometime where they proved that the clip point is actually a more effective stabber than a dagger. The dagger shape is actually less effective than the Bowie style sharpened clip point for stabbing. So that's interesting. Um, looks better, feels better, more usable. You can't baton so easily, but you can still baton. I'm going to have to give that a try. But the finger groove. So I need to get back to making some of these. I'll make two more, I think, uh, just shortly. And then the pocket clip here and then the belt clip there. Now, with the scalpels, I am trying something. I don't know if this is going to work just yet, but it feels okay for now. I have a bunch of these, right? So it means I have to add an extra eyelid right there, which is a shame because it's pretty difficult to get this one right. But overall here, I, you can now kind of tuck this into your pants and then you have a little clip right there. And so that's not standard yet. We don't know if that's worth the time to do because it's, you know, every little extra step is, uh, you know, uh, extra work. So, but I kind of like it so far. And I have like, I don't know, 20 or 30 of these. They're not the real ones. They're actually the fake ones. Uh, so they might break on you. But the real ones are much more expensive. So, and um, so I like to carry... Oh, yeah, here. So there's this. And that. So it also gives you a place to kind of push with your thumb if you want to. So we got that. Right. Like this. I think it looks pretty cool too, but it's not as uh, concealable, I don't think. It kind of sticks out a lot. Which is not really what we want. But I think as an option, it's pretty cool. Because if you want to, if you're not doing like ultra conceal carry, of course, you know, you can just grab it, put it in your pocket like that. And uh, very easily, I don't know if you can see it, yeah, very easily just use it like that and cut your thing and put it back, put it away and it stays there real good. It's, you know, the whole handle sticks out and uh, why not? Why not give that a try? So I'll be testing that for a while. Um, you know. It looks cool when it's on there too. Looks quite pro. And uh, the string. And these. That's pretty cool too. So. Again, I'm not going to increase the price of the product anymore. I'm gonna, it's staying here. So all these additions will be included in the price. So whatever. In, you know, whatever new ideas we come up with and whatever new things we we come up with and that that's added to the design it's not going to increase the price you know it's all going to be part of the product part of the design right so there it is pretty cool um not ideal for ultimate conceal but i feel like even if it's like this and this one it's not yeah it is a bit much it is a bit much to stick it out but yeah. I'm trying to... Yeah, there you go. So... Oop. Yeah, you can support my work by picking up one of these rivet lock... Uh, sorry, one of these scalpels V3 from my website or Etsy, and there's going to be a coupon code in the description. And thanks for watching. And uh, let's see. Oh, we want to continue adding cool things to these knives and making them better products, so one step at a time. So far, this is pretty cool. I kind of like it.